Well, we could probably get started. I'm sure we'll have some more people joining, but thanks everybody for joining us today. Regardless of your weather, we're happy you're here. I am joined by an amazing group of women, as Paul pointed out, but I'm also joined by my team members, Krista, who is customer success manager. Paul is another one of the co-founders of SmartCert. If you all have questions during the discussion, if you hover your mouse over the bottom of your Zoom screen, there are opportunities to chat with them as questions come up. You can um, do that in the chat where everyone can see, or you can use the Q&A and send them a direct question. That way, when we uh, get closer to the end of this, we'll know how much time to save for questions and want to make sure that's part of the conversation. So I am joined by some of our legacy customers, those who took the jump into transitioning their cert process to Smart Cert a few years ago and are definitely some of our power users and have helped us with feedback and insights and usage really help to hone and prioritize where we wanted to take Smart Cert. So um, that's been super beneficial to us. Um, learning from them as they're using it, where we see areas of opportunity uh, to continue to expand the tools available to receive, manage, process, and send certs. So maybe each of you can uh, introduce yourselves, just your name, your title, and which company you work for, and then we'll get into the questions. We'll start with Holly and Marcy. Hi, I'm Holly McDaniel with WCL West Coast Lockwasher. I'm the sales manager. And I'm Marcy Miranda at WCL also for um, quality control inspector. Thank you. Nicole? Hi, I'm Nicole, operations manager for Fastener Dimensions. And Alicia? Hi, I'm Alicia, and I am the director of facilities operations at Pilgrim Aer Aerospace. Right down the road from yep. Smart Start headquarters. <laughs> so uh, these women have a lot to share, probably um, the challenges with transitioning teams and processes that have been in place for decades, but also the opportunities for efficiencies in the way they communicate internally with their suppliers and certainly with customers. So kind of Going back to the beginning, Alicia, I'll start with you. When you think about the conversations you're having internally, what were the goals that you thought SmartCert would be able to assist you with when you were thinking through opportunities for improvement with your CERT process? Um, just being able to streamline getting the CERTs to our customers faster, as well as like not having as many lost papers. The fact that we're sending it electronically, we cut down on, oh, we miss, we're, we're missing this cert. We don't have that anymore. So it's really nice. Alicia started when we are very humble beginnings of using the QR code to send certs. So even though it was post COVID and people yeah. were used to QR codes, that was certainly presented some challenges which helped us pivot to that delivery automation. Nicole, anything you would add as far as the goals for Fastener Dimensions and where SmartCert fit in? We're basically just using it to archive all of our certs from like 1997 until the current. Yeah. Um, that's helping out a lot. It makes my job easier so I don't have to go back to the archives all the time, obviously. But um, customers, they still lose it. And even though I'm like, hey, <laughs> I sent it smart search, they're like, yeah, we don't know how to work it or we didn't sign up for it. So I'm still trying to get over that hurdle of yeah. implementing it. But other than that, I like it better, like I said, because I don't have to go back to the archives and search like I for used sure. to for hours. So when you do have those questions, I know you've you've added the support team to the email conversations. Any comments there about how we assist the customers in the steps and process to make sure your customers get what they need? They have, I've never heard anything bad, obviously, come back. Um, but usually, I think it was Brianna that was yeah. assisting. She would take care of everything, and I would never hear from them again. So yeah. I assumed that everything was great, and but they're the ones that don't use them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of that. 
they didn't like, I think it was Monroe reached out to me asking me how I felt about smart certs because I think yeah. they were going to implement it. Yeah. But they haven't, I haven't heard anything back from them. So I don't know if okay. they reached out to you to start a service or not. Okay. Uh, could be. I think uh, a few things there. You made some really good points about change management. And even when your goals, like you said, to be able to quickly access certs, to send them, there's always the challenges that it presents when you're asking your customers to do something differently. So yeah. we've really spent the last two years trying to support that. And it's not only just our human interaction, Nicole, Alicia, Holly, Marant, Marcy, all have the ability to add the support team to the conversation. And usually it's resolved really quickly. It may just be some confusion in getting started, but that's really been a focus for us with the sensitivity that everyone has with their customer base. So thank you for sharing that, Nicole. How about Holly and Marcy, thinking about the goals for WCL and where SmartCert fits in? Um, well, obviously the goal is to always make it easier for our customers. We want to be the best solution by making it easy for them to do their job. Um, but in turn, we're benefiting from it being easier also. Um, you know, it's it's a much more organized system for, for paperwork. Um, paperwork can, can be overwhelming and it can be tricky to navigate through. And having the, the organizational process of scanning it into SmartCert and having it right at your fingertips and allowing our customers to have those certs at their fingertips, it's really what the goal is for us. How about from a quality perspective, Marcy, would you have anything to add there? I know the organization is important to you. Um, so for me, it helps make things easier when there are customers that still say, oh, we didn't get it. I can say yes, and I can either screenshot it or I can resend it to them. And then usually after that, it's usually taken care of. Um, but organizing, it's really easy. It's simple to use. You can put different types of files in there. It doesn't just have to be PDFs. You can add Word documents, anything that we might need to send to customers. It's, it's usable. That's great. I think the interesting thing too, when you think about your customers growing and new buyers being added, um, you guys have all been really responsive in being able to support that transition to them. And then, you know, you think back to the time where you've asked them to make changes and then they're taking advantage, as Nicole said, of what that means for improving their processes. I think when everyone speaks the same language, there's, there's efficiencies for all. And that's certainly one of the goals that we have when we launched this. So, Let's talk a little bit about transition. Holly, Marcy, as you guys made the shift, I know Marcy, you kind of came in as SmartCert was being implemented. Um, tell us a little bit about that from an internal perspective. Well, I, I think the transition, we, we probably could have done better on our end. Um, SmartCert offers a lot of tools and I don't think we necessarily took advantage of those right from the beginning. I think we were so anxious and excited to just start sending certs. We just started sending certs and people are like, what are we getting this email? What is smart cert? And where are my certs? I don't have any certs. Why do you want me to log into this? And we just didn't educate before we made the transition. So we could have handled that a lot better internally. So anybody new considering that, use the resources that smart cert gives you. They're helpful. It really, really made the transition easier as soon as we kind of, we sort of had to go backwards to go forwards and make it easier for everybody. Um, but I, I think the transition, if you roll it out properly, it's seamless. It, it would, it, it really is just seamless if you use the tools that, that are available. Alicia, you transitioned your customers. Um... And so you duplicated efforts initially to get everyone up to speed. These were very early days of SmartCert. Can you talk a little bit about that transition? That was a struggle, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> a lot um, of work. We, yeah, we sent off emails letting our customers know ahead of time what we were going to be doing. But I realized that even doing that, they didn't really pay attention to our emails that we sent out <laughs> or our emails didn't go to the correct people, which was another thing. So it was it actually helped us in making sure that we have the correct contacts for the correct people with the correct titles. 
but the transition was a little rough at the beginning. We got a, lo a lot of pushback on just not wanting to use it or just not having the equipment out in the shipping area for them to be able to use it. Cause back then we were using QR codes, right. <laughs> but, um, I think honestly, once you guys came out with the sharing to the dashboard, it made it way simple, way easier. And all of the issues that we were having before went away. They really Good went away. Good to hear. Good to hear. I think, um, you know, when we proved out the sharing um, automation, I think that was a game changer for oh, yeah. a lot of companies and certainly easier, less work for your customers. I know a lot of them were accommodating 2D scanners and stuff, but to just to be able to automatically send them at the time of shipment was great. Yes. <laughs> it also Nicole? gives them a head, time, a head start in knowing what's coming to them as well. And the ability to review the certs ahead of the shipment being received. Um, these are all things, you know, that we learn from anyone who is uh, on the network and really sees opportunities of bringing value, not only internally, but again, to customers. The idea is to make this process easy for everyone, uh, easier even than an email, which now I think a lot of people try to avoid because our inboxes are so full and intimidating and painful. Um, and there's also limitations with sending certs via email. So the idea is to automate that process and make certs available to entire teams the second that they are delivered. And I think that does create um, an, a, a stronger process on the customer side of things. Um, we talked a little bit about feedback from customers. Usually it is a sensitive subject when you're asking them to do something a little bit differently. However, um, we have very high adoption rates simply because we make it easy for everyone um, and they all find value in it. So Holly, I think you have a good story about this, but um, what is your, what's the feedback from customers? Um, well, in, in the beginning, like you said, no, nobody embraces change the way we really should. You know, change isn't always bad, but I think that the change was difficult for a lot of our um, larger aerospace customers. Um, it, it, it was painful in the very beginning, but that lasted all of, you know, five seconds. And then we, are over that hump. And now, you know, I, I get a simple email. I don't have my certs. And I said, just, re just remember they're in your smart cert dashboard. And they, thank you. That's all it is, is thank you. And they go and they get them and they're on their way. Um, I think the transition now is to just remembering that certs aren't with the shipment. Um, but everybody's loving it. I think they're having a much easier time with multiple people accessing certs. Um, it's not, they, they, they aren't just relying on that one person who usually gets certs to plug them into their system. They, they all have their own access and they can get them you know, as they need them because everybody's function is different. So an inspector might need one thing at one time, but the quality rep needs something else at a different time. So they can all do what they need when they need it. So I, I think that that aspect of it has really alleviated a lot of the, the questions from customers. Your points. Nicole, anything to add there as far as after your customers have transitioned, how they feel about logging in and grabbing their certs? They never complain. And, you know, but see, a lot of my customers still want the certs with the shipment. They're just not ready to make the full commitment of, you know, the barcode or all of that. They, I think they just like that physical touch of paper when they get the yeah. But um, I've heard anything negative they don't complain so which is great for me because what's yeah like exactly but, yeah. alicia anything to add there no i think they pretty much covered it like i had the same issues it was a transition at the beginning but now it's just people forget that we send everything through the smart search so it's always just a quick reminder hey it's on the smart search platform and they're like oh got it thanks perfect we try and be sensitive to not spam customers every time certs are received. Some of these companies receive, you know, um, many smart certs daily from many suppliers. So we do roll up notifications in a daily summary. Uh, but like everyone says, nobody really reads or enjoys email all that much. So there may be opportunities where that gets missed. Um, but that is our effort to be as respectful as we can and notifying people. There's also notifications in the dashboard as well when certs have been received. 
And to, can I just touch a little bit on what Nicole was saying? Because, yeah. you know, we've been in business for a long time and our customers were very used to only having paper certs. So I get that pain point of customers being adamant that they have to have the documentation in their hands or in the box. But, yeah. you know, as soon as we were showing them that it was easier to keep track of them, they, they needed to see the value and the benefit. And as soon as they did, then it became a lot easier to get them on board with Smart Cert. It's, it's, it's presenting the value, but also walking that 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 path with them to, to define that value for them made it a little bit easier for their transition going from the hard copy paper to the, the digital copy of it, so. Absolutely. I think there is something to be said when you um, are asked to make changes to a process that's probably been in place and uh, you question technology. I guess the good news is, like you said, when someone does log in, this was built for the industry by the industry. So Lyndon's knowledge of um, dealing with these problems firsthand has definitely provided a catalyst for uh, ways to really take advantage of what our goals have been for every single company that participates in the network. Marcy, anything to add um, from a quality perspective for all of those quality managers out there? Uh, you mentioned organiz organizing and, and having access to information and streamlining uh, certs to customers. Is there anything else you would reference from a quality perspective that you'd like people to know? Um, I would say that it is, everything is in one place. As soon as we get something in, we'll scan it in since we do still get paper certs from people that we're buying from. Um, but then you can fill out the lot number, you can fill out the manufacturer, you can fill out whatever information you want to. So however you need to search it later on, when you're looking for it, you can type in almost anything you can think of that's related to that cert and it'll pop up which is definitely useful because you're not searching and searching and searching through who knows how many papers. Absolutely, we hear that a lot. It's usually that people internally organize, send certs then on to their customers and um, then kind of circle back to the supplier side because obviously if you're receiving them the same way that you're sending certs, there's a lot of value and reduced steps and hassle there as well. So that's the ultimate goal um, to work to standardize that process and cut out as many steps. Um, companies do enjoy Smart Cert from just an archive uh, and a backup and redundancy. We know that that's important for a lot of ISO standards and quality management systems. Getting rid, I know Jason at Pilgrim talked about all of the filing cabinets of paper. Um, that's a great opportunity to not only save space, but when you think about paper and toner, um, things get pretty exciting. Uh, Alicia, you have shifted over to Smart Cert packages. So that is the opportunity to create a Smart Cert for each lot. Uh, the efficiency there is you can bundle them together, reference a customer PO, add in customer specific documentations, but each smart cert represents a lot and that paperwork is specific to the part and lot, which means you could send the same smart cert to every customer who orders against that inventory. Obviously there's efficiencies there and it gets even more exciting as Holly mentioned to be able to go back and look at the history of that specific cert package for the lot and see everyone who's received it, um, and be able to have you know, that information and visibility. So maybe you can talk a little bit, Alicia, you, you're transitioning over to packages, uh, what that has meant from a, a internal organization perspective and what that has translated to in the amount of time you're now building certs to send on to customers. So I absolutely love this feature. One of the best things that you guys could have added. It actually cuts down my time a lot when it comes to sending or creating a smart cert. And it also cut down on a lot of time when it came for our QA, man our QA department to actually create the certs because now they're just creating it for the lot. And then I personalize it for the actual customer. 
and I can do that all in one swoop. So if someone is receiving like three or four lots for this one part, I can send it all at once instead of having to individually go in and send the cert pack individually, <laughs> which was a pain. But right. now it's like way faster and I love this feature. And I think our customers like are benefiting from it as well because one PO, they're getting a cert pack from one PO instead of multiple cert packs for that same PO. We agree. I think that internal organization, but also what that means for your customers definitely brings value. Nicole, you gave us one of our favorite quotes. Uh, after you implemented Smart Cert, um, you told us that what used to take eight hours now just takes one hour, which yeah. we love to hear, giving you more time back in the day to herd all the cats you do on a daily basis. Um, what do you do with your time now? And, and um, you just add it more how, <laughs> Yes, you, you just have new things. But yeah. as far as like the time savings, that's a pretty big impact. You mentioned um, archiving and, and accessibility. What would you say are the biggest benefits? It's, it's easier for me. So if I send the search to them and they're it's easier for me to resend the search to the customer, obviously, but then it's just a click of a button. I can be like, okay, yeah, if it's not in the system, then I know it's in art, it's in, you know, smart shirts and it's just, oh, let me pull it up and I can send it to, to whoever I need to. So yeah. again, it saves me hours by going in the back, looking through all the boxes, all the filing cabinets right. to find that cert from 1997 that you can barely read. Yeah. So, you know, that saves a huge amount of time. That makes sense. Um, Holly, from a sales perspective, how are you differentiating WCL with this value add service? Uh, well, a lot of it is time management. It's it's how to to show your customers that they have access to these certs twenty four seven. So even when I can't be right there for them when they need me, the certs and the documentation can be right there at any time for them. So if we have customers who are on different shifts than what my working my business hours are. It, they, 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 it's not a stop app for them. They can go and access what they need when they need it. Um, sh you know, showing them the cost savings, everyone's listening. You know, if you, you prove that something's gonna save them time and money, I think most anybody is on board as long as it's a simple and easy to use format, which SmartCert is. So, um, you know, going paperless, telling them that it's fast and differentiating is just being the best solution for, for WCL. Um, if, if we can prove that we're the best solution um, by actions and not just by telling them that we are, but proving that we are and helping them be successful in their day to day activity, that's that's all that we we can ask. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, I want to do a quick check in on the number of questions so we save enough time at the end. Krista, how are things looking? Uh, we have two questions so far. All right. So I just have a few more questions, then we'll get into the demo of the CERT processing tools. I think you guys have really covered um, the, the challenges with change management, not only for what that means, and I think why there are so many companies that are sort of interested but nervous, and I think change is going to happen regardless. It's, it's whether if you're going to lead, like many of these companies have chosen to or follow, um, there's plenty of opportunities to kind of hear um, from companies who use it, but also, you know, being two and a half years in, having the conversations um, that we are having now with some of the major source suppliers and also up to the OEMs, I think um, we recognize the sensitivity that is for your teams. Krista and I, from a customer support perspective, we do try and provide all the resources, but this is all very custom to everyone's point. Everyone's always done it a little differently. So where does SmartCert fit in? What are the tools that you need to be successful internally, but also um, how do we make introductions? How do we support transitions? Um, those are all a real big focus for us. You can learn SmartCert in five minutes. It's more of how do you support and project manage everything else that is uh, part of the deal? So my last question to the panel, um, 
I'll start with Nicole. What do you wish you would have known before getting started? That it would make my job easier. I was very <laughs> hesitant to, for the change because I just knew what I was up against, but it does make my life a little easier knowing that it's just now a click of a button and it's literally right there. And that can extract page by page. I don't have to print out the whole entire cert packet. I can just print out just the MC if needed or the test report. And even like, I just wish I was receiving certs from our vendors because I think that would make my life so much easier and quality as well. But I like the fact that I can just print out individual pages and not the whole thing. And like you said, waste all that paper. Thank you. Alicia? Um, honestly, it's the same with her. I did a lot of pushback when we first started because I knew that it was going to be a lot more work on me. But honestly, it's after doing it, it made my job a lot easier. It really has. It made it a lot easier dealing with the customers when they're asking for corrective certs and things like that. It's just a click of a button to easily go through and just send it off. So appreciate that. Holly, Marcy. I, I think I'm on the opposite end of them. I was all in from the very <laughs> beginning. I knew that it had the potential to, to, to be easy. I knew it had the potential to save us a lot of time. We were spending too much time on certs um, and, and making packages for our customers. Um, I, I think if I just maybe spent a little bit more time educating myself on the rollout of, of the change, that would have probably made it easier all the way across for WCL and our customers. But it, you know, there was no hesitation for me. I, I knew what, what the potential was immediately. And Marcy? And for me, since I came in once it was already part of it, um, I was just learning it as I was starting. So for me, it was nothing like I had to redo or anything like that. I was just learning as I was going. But um, once the big update happened, I was excited for that because so many different things came into it than the original one that I had seen. And so it was it was nice when the update was coming. <laughs> yes, that was in October of last year. Um, we brought in our head of technology in May, Mark Mann, which some of you have had the pleasure of talking to. Um, he really rebuilt it in a way that made it scalable, but also we took in all the feedback from these women and, and others. Um, what can we do to make this smarter, more intuitive, easier for everyone involved? Uh, the cool thing when you have software as a service, you guys log in and on a Monday morning and there's something new and cool. And I think that um, it's been great to work with uh, these users to kind of, hey, what do you think of this? We've had some sessions to get feedback on before we even rolled things out. So we really appreciate all of your insight, the way you challenge us, the way you uh, help us better understand usage, not only for your internal teams, but certainly for your customers. So thank you for that. I am going to uh, actually share my screen. Thank you to the panel. Um, for participating. Hopefully you can hang on till the end. There may be questions specific to you, but I'll take the next few minutes to kind of walk through the new CERT processing tools. So I'm going to share my screen. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. Perfect. So the created dashboard represents inventory. Uh, Nicole, the team here all have mentioned the fact that this is sort of what's represented of inventory that goes out to customers. Um, so this is really where uh, a lot of the work gets done. I have a notification that I just received a smart cert from my supplier. That's all rolled up on the received dashboard. So for the purpose of this example and talking through cert processing tools, Obviously, as Nicole mentioned, if you're receiving inbound smart certs, this cuts down on a lot of the steps, but these cert processing tools are also available to you if you're creating a smart cert and uploading the documents. You can still digitally approve them, redact supplier information, add pages, adjust your PDF for use with your customers. So the idea really is let's remove steps where you may be doing that elsewhere, lots of different tools, and start to centralize those efforts. So this is a major update that we know is a game changer for a lot of companies. 
Alicia mentioned the package. Here's an example of that. You're referencing one PO, and then each of the line items has its own smart cert. This means that each of these has its own cert package. Your customers can go in and download all of those certs into one zip file or individually download the cert package for each of the lots. So not only great organization on their received dashboard, but they can refer back to any of the information in these fields if they have to go back and pull up those certs for any reason. When you are receiving inbound smart certs, uh, those are archived. There is no limit, volume limits, uh, size-wise, or the number of smart certs. For this example, I've received in uh, this one line item with my shipment. Part of that internal approval process may happen in Smart Cert if you're receiving certs here. You can use the search function, review information within the documents to confirm accuracy, make sure all the information is available to you. If for whatever reason your cert package is missing information, a lot of companies take advantage of the request feature to be able to keep all of the processes related to certs in one place. You can send a message to your supplier saying, hey, I need an updated MTR, reference a purchase order number. When they send that updated cert package, it's going to be on your received dashboard. So you are eliminating all the communication that may happen outside of Smart Cert. So going back into this, let's say that we have uh, reviewed the information within this cert package. The idea now is to cut out the steps of creating it for use with my customers. The copy to a new smart cert will copy over all the information in the fields. You may want to keep your manufacturer lot and the part number. Perhaps you change this to reference your internal lot. And then the modifications to the documents are also available to you. Because you have already approved these, quality has reviewed them, the first thing that you may choose to do is add your signature. So either drawing with your mouse, which I'm not even gonna attempt, I'm terrible at it. If you have a digital signature as an image, you could upload it or just type in your name, choose the format you'd like and click done. I've now added my signature. I'll adjust it drop it where I want. Perhaps underneath, I'm going to add my title and the date. So now I have digitally approved the CERT package for use with my customers. It may be that I want to redact information on uh, this CERT. So I'm going to use the redaction tool. I'm just going to white it out. So I'm going to grab all this information. I'm going to apply that redaction. You can see that it's now eliminated. It actually is removed from the document. So you are making a copy for use with your customers. If you wanted to add in your logo, you could upload an image. You could just put in a text box and put information here. A couple different options to kind of make it your own, but you can protect supplier information that way. If you want to rename your document, you could do that at any time, whether that's an internal naming convention or anything you'd like. The last thing you have the option to do or I'll show is adding in a page. So if you are building a cert package and have to add in a plating cert, or if your standard is to add a cover sheet or a CFC, you have the option to build a page into the cert package, but even easier is just to pull up and add a document. I've added my CFC. I'm going to click Save. This document template for a CFC, you could fill that information out. We can create a template for your use. This one's pretty standard. But I've now kind of built the cert package after I've filled this information out that's ready to go on to my customer. So. A few extra steps, maybe this has taken me all of a few minutes, but when you think of um, building a cert package and being able to reuse this, maybe 
30 customers will receive this inventory. But even if it's just a handful, the fact that you're consolidating all of those steps to build the cert package for your use is certainly going to save a lot of time and then work to create the inventory that you'll be able to not only refer to, but start to build packages around and provide access to your other team members. So ideally, um, this solves a lot of the challenges companies have in processing certs. With just a few clicks, you can accommodate adjustments to cert packages as you need to. And then when you're ready to send that off, as uh, Nicole mentioned, it's the click of a button and that automatically gets delivered to your customer. I think that I am ready for questions and we can refer back to the panel. Krista, maybe you can help us out with the first question. Sure. So Linda has asked, um, we are currently storing our certs on our ERP system. Do you store them just on Smart Cert or do you still store them on your ERP? Very good question. We usually recommend Smart Cert as backup and redundancy for a lot of ISO and other uh, certifications and QMS systems. Um, we still recommend saving them locally and then using Smart Cert as your backup. So um, you can certainly use that in replacement of all the paper copies you have and save a copy locally. Uh, a lot of companies like to take advantage of front loading all their inventory when they get smart started with smart search. So we can take all of those documents that you have digitally to go back in time years to be able to build your inventory in smart search. So you do have that redundancy and backup and you can kind of hit the ground running. That also just answered um, one of Anders' questions. He was curious about um, if old certs from 1997 were <laughs> being imported um, or if most companies were just sharing current certs from today. Um, so hopefully that answered your question, Anders. He also had another question. Um, have you found that there are particular industries, whether it be automotive, aerospace, that are trending as more or less receptive to abandoning paper? Very good questions. I think Nicole can attribute her appreciation for not going back in old files and cabinets for those old certs. I know that's been a hassle for a lot of people is the time spent locating that one document. So um, I think that does check the box in, in accessibility. Uh, as far as industries go, sometimes we laugh that we may have chosen the most difficult industry for change management. <laughs> I think we all agree uh, things are slow to move, but there's a reason for it. And it's because this paperwork is important. So I think inflation, COVID, all of those things have sort of accelerated the idea of opportunities with automation and digitization. That's certainly helping a lot of companies. It's probably even moved up the timeline to take advantage of those things. So when you think about industry adoption, you know, we have, I think as of this morning, 895 companies participating. Uh, we feel really excited about that, especially with where we're going. You know, we're having conversations now with the major source suppliers, with OEMs who are considering standardizing their process to take advantage of the efficiencies that smarts are create. So Aerospace is certainly uh, taking advantage. We have electronics, medical, uh, a lot more structural. I would say our major growth this year has been in structural. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything, Paul or Krista, but um, it's, it's electronics, if I didn't mention that, and automotive, um, the versioning with PPAPs and things like that. It's where is there opportunities to spend less time on certs? All right, and then we have one more question from Lance who asked, when receiving a digital PDF non-smart cert, what is the process to upload that smart cert and tie it to the received lot in our ERP? Well, if this is Lance Archer, uh, <laughs> that's all automated by his ERP. <laughs> but if you are a manual user, um, there's a couple of different ways to do that. I, we were just on a call this morning with a company who is trying to determine when a smart cert gets created. If you're a manufacturer, 
you know, and Nicole is a perfect example of this. They manufacture parts and they also sell parts. They create a smart cert at different times based on what's going to make the most sense as you build a cert package as parts get completed. But the ability to click the create button, fill in a field or two of information and upload that document, maybe at the time of receipt, maybe at the time of shipment, the real opportunity is, again, a custom process that helps align internally with your teams, but also helps create uh, less steps and fewer clicks to get that document stored locally and in SmartCert. Do we have other questions? So far, those are all the questions we've received. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I, mean, I think that um, um, that um, Linda's question about the ERP, maybe we we could just expand on a touch. We don't the documents. If you have an ERP that provides lot control, your documents live in that system, and then we duplicate it on SmartCert so customers can access it on SmartCert. They don't because you wouldn't want to give them access to your ERP, but that's the whole idea. So they're in both. Yes. Just to be. Yeah, you know, the idea behind SmartCert it was really delivery because that's really where a lot of the hurdles are is receiving and sending certs. So we've, we're now building in the processing tools to be able to accommodate a lot of more steps, but think of SmartCert representing your digital inventory of what gets passed along to your customers. Um, might be a good way to think through it. We have uh, Brandy from InSQL uh, on the call. Uh, and InSQL is integrated with SmartCert, which means companies like Global Supply and Advanced Components upload documents to the lot file. The SmartCert gets generated at the time of shipment. A SmartCert package gets built and sent to the customer dashboard. So there's a whole lot of automation that can happen. You're talking to three companies here that still find efficiencies doing that manually. So we uh, are always excited at the opportunity to have more conversations. I think that our panelists here do a much better job of providing the realities than uh, us as SmartCert members could ever do. So I greatly appreciate their time, their uh, ability to share with you all information that can help um, maybe check the box on areas that uh, you see as a way to get started or the argument you need to get uh, the tools you want, but also to what to be aware of uh, and, and how we fit into that. So I appreciate everyone's time today. Thank you all for joining. We will have a recording of this available. Um, but if no one has anything else to add, we can give everyone two minutes back in their day and wish you all a great rest of your week. Thanks guys for joining.